This is a story I wrote for my great granddaughter Ella. In the story, a young girl lives in Victorian England. She's very, very poor and lives in the very slum part of London. She's not all that clever, but like everybody, everybody has some special talent. Regardless of who you are, you have some special talent. And in Ella's case, this was drawing. Ella was very good at drawing. So this is a story for young children. Ella and the magic paintbrush. Ella lived with her mother in one small room in a very drab house in a very drab street in London. Her real name was Eliza, but everyone called her Ella, except her mum. They were very poor and sometimes had nothing to eat. The room had very little furniture and Ella did not have a real bed. She had to sleep on a bed of straw. Because they were so poor, Ella could not go to school, so she found maths and English very difficult. However, Ella was very good at drawing. Ella loved to draw, but she had no pencils or brushes to use, so she drew pictures in the dirt with a stick. Sometimes, when Ella went out for a walk, she passed a house where she could see several boys sat at easels painting pictures. Once, she looked in the room, and the man teaching them shouted at her and said, Get away, you dirty girl! This is only for rich people. Ella was very upset and it made her cry as she ran home. When she got home, she sat outside her house drawing pictures in the dirt. And a lady came up to her and said, that's a very good drawing you have done. Why don't you paint it on paper? Ella told her she did not have any paper or brushes as they could not afford them. When she heard this, the lady took a paintbrush from her bag and gave it to Ella. She said, take this, it's a magic paintbrush. When you paint something, it will become real. But you must only use it to paint the things you need, not what you want. And there are some things which you cannot paint. Ella turned round to ask the lady what she meant, but she had disappeared. Ella thought, that's stupid, but I do have a brush now. What I need is some paper and some paints. Ella used the brush to draw a box of paints in the dirt, and suddenly there it was, a real box of paints. She was amazed to see this and realised it was a magic paintbrush. What I need now is some paper, she thought, and drew a large piece of paper in the dirt. Once again, the drawing turned into real paper. Ella was very excited and rushed in to tell her mother. She said, Mum, a lady gave me this paintbrush and it's magic. Anything I paint with it becomes real. Her mum said, don't be silly, Elisa. You can't make things like that. To show she was telling the truth, Ella painted a small bed on a piece of paper and in a flash, a real bed stood where Ella's pile of straw had been. It was hard to believe, but her mother knew she was telling the truth. Ella used the brush to paint some more furniture for the room. Then she tried to paint some money for her mother. But this time it did not work. Then she remembered that the lady had said there were some things which cannot be made. Money was one of these. Ella didn't mind. At least they had a comfortable room. The next day, Ella was walking along the street when she saw a poor man sat at the side. He only had one leg and looked very unhappy. Ella thought, I'll paint a new leg for him and painted a leg on her paper. Once again, it did not work. So she realized she could not paint living things. Instead, 
she painted a false leg for him. When Ella gave him the leg, the man was overjoyed and thanked her. Ella was happy that she'd been able to help him. When Ella got back to the small room she lived in, she looked around and thought, I wonder if I could paint a house for me and mum. Ella sat down and started to paint. She painted a small, pretty cottage in the countryside with flowers in a small garden. As soon as she had finished painting, she looked around and saw that she really was in a cottage. Her mum hugged her and said, Eliza, this is wonderful. We can be happy here. They were happy. Her mum got a small job in a nearby farm and they had enough money for their needs. If they needed anything, Ella could paint it. Each day, Ella would go for a walk in the nearby fields and sit down to do some painting with real brushes, not the magic brush. One day she decided to try a magic brush again and painted a pretty rose bush and a real rose bush appeared. A rich man was passing by in his horse and saw what Ella had done. He thought, that's magic. If you can make a rose bush, you can pay money for me. I'll assume we're the richest man in town. He grabbed Ella, threw her across his horse and galloped away to his home. When he got home, he ordered Ella to paint him a pot of gold. Ella refused and he locked her in a room with only one window. The window had bars across it so she could not escape and it was very cold. The man said, I will keep you there without food until you pay me some gold. When he went away, Ella was very hungry, so she just painted herself a sandwich and painted the fire to keep her warm. Then she painted a new window in the wall and a rope ladder to climb down. She quickly escaped and ran home. The next morning, the man came to open the door, but Ella had painted a big bar across it so he could not get in. He banged, angrily locked the door, and then ran at the door to break it. The door crashed open, and he saw that Ella had escaped. As he ran to the window, he knocked over the fire. The house quickly caught fire, and the house and the man were destroyed. When Ella got home, she thought about the house where she had been taken to. It was a very large mansion, and she thought it to be lovely. She decided she would like to live in a mansion like that. I'll paint one, she said. Ella began to paint, and soon she had painted a very a big mansion. But as soon as she had finished, the mansion disappeared. Ella wondered why this had happened. Then she remembered what the lady had said. Paint only what you need, not what you want. She realised that she didn't need a mansion, as she already had a nice home. After that, Ella did not use her magic paintbrush much, but her paintings, painted with real brushes, were very popular, and she was able to sell them. Ella and her mother lived very happily in the small cottage. They had everything they needed. The end. Well, that's the end of the story. This story really is, is uh, based on a very, very old Chinese fable, again called the Magic Paintbrush, a bit different to this one though. Lots of stories are based on Chinese uh, fairy tales. I mean, Red Riding Hood is based on a Chinese fable. I think it's called the Panther, but it's a bit gory. But many fairy stories are based on Chinese fables. I'll write some more. In fact, I have written some more, which I'll put on YouTube. Uh, one is called The Magic Box, again, I think that's already on there, is about based on Chinese fairy story. Bye for now.